Ready? So we've been pivoting our business a little bit recently, moving away from custom small orders and more into batch processing. Trying this out with guitar tops, we've pumped out maybe three, 4,000 guitar tops this year. Here's one highlighted log is 410, which did really well for us. So what we're planning to do now is just show up at a guitar festival out of the blue and bring these guitar tops with us and hopefully kind of elbow our way into the market. We think our guitar tops are pretty special because you don't see tight green wood anymore. And we're hoping that other people are thinking the same thing. So let's get them out there and let's see what people think. We're on our way to the guitar festival in Vancouver. It's going to be awesome. International guitar festival. So we'll be people there from all over the world is what that means, right? Yeah. yeah, I think that's what that means. Yeah. Well, Vancouver is quite an international city, so it could just be Vancouver. It's true. Oh, yeah. First stop. First stop of many. That's the problem with getting old is like these road trips. We've only been in the car for an hour and a half, but I'm like, <laughs> oh my goodness, got a stretch. Do you want me to drive? <laughs> okay, I'll do another like, I don't know, hour. At this undisclosed gas station, the price is 173.9, which is like 20 cents cheaper than what we're used to. Yeah. We're in the city now. Look at all these lanes. Feel my traffic anxiety <laughs> slowly creeping up. We are almost there. So this is the Creekside Community Center. We're just getting our stuff out of the car and we're getting set up for this show. Mike is delivering some raw talent right there. It was pure height. You can't teach that. We just sold these. We haven't even set up yet. I think we should have brought more pink. Mike was right. <laughs> Feeling good, Mike? Yeah. Good, Sarah? Yeah. 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 Controlled by this, breaks. Uh. <laughs> Mike reacts. That's right, everybody. <laughs> Anyone want to try my homemade apple juice? Apple juice available soon. No, <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Fun little globe, hey Mike? Yeah. Look at the size of it. <laughs> okay. We don't mess around. Let's enjoy it here. This is cool. We get to listen to the guitar music. Yeah. It looks good. Mmm. Mmm. 
Yeah. All right, Jay we're gonna get breakfast, and then we're gonna go to the uh, then we're gonna go to the guitar festival. But first, we need breakfast. Sarah knows the place. She just has to remember where it is. Dude, it's been like eight years. We're so tall. This way. Huh. <laughs> Looks like they're filming a movie. We are also filming a movie. <laughs> what are you guys looking at? It looks like if you have a boat, you can just park a boat. And you can just live here. So we need to show up with a houseboat. No, we just need your boat. These boats it are floats. bigger than your boat. Okay. Looks like there's a race going on. I just hope no one recognizes me. Oh, it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Do that one. Oh. I kind of want to look at that one. That was the first day of selling stuff in the bag. <laughs> There's the guy who was there, like really interested in ice cream. He said that he was particularly picky about his qualities of ice cream. Qualities of tone wood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he, and then then he said, well, and I said, that's okay. Everyone's picky about something. And he said, what are you picky about? And I said, well, ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> just because yeah. ice, because we've been talking about ice cream a lot. I just, yeah. just yeah. thought about it. And, uh, and he you said, lit up. And it then was... he lit up and he said, actually, during COVID, I helped co-find a uh, ice cream fun. shop. Found. Yeah. Find. That's awesome. And it just was, I thought it was really funny. You just gotta it find just things like that people are interested in. Happened. Make your connections. Yeah. That's what this is all about. Yeah. Mmm. It's good. How much have you missed sushi? I missed it a lot. <laughs> Well, I'm having a blueberry cream croissant. My cream is becoming unmanageable, and I'm worried that this is a, some sort of foreshadowing <laughs> of what my, my day is going to be like trying to manage. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy with a fork and knife. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is beautiful. So we get very cold very hard conditions, you know, six months of the year. Like, look at the green spacing in comparison. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, that's yeah. definitely weather related. Look at that. This polonia can have a three inch growth rate. As a luthier, you, you usually ask how many growth lines per inch. There's zero, zero in polonia yeah. because you can get three inches without a growth rate. That's a wow. So it's the reverse, right? Yeah. So on our last day of the show, we were approached by a fellow who was marketing a different type of wood called Polonia. It's super lightweight, like crazy lightweight, something like balsa or even lighter than balsa wood. It reminds me quite a bit of our cottonwood in its texture, very like soft wood. He had a full guitar made out of it, and Mike gave it a little whirl, something different. I love these guitars with the um, the sound hole on the top. To be honest, before the show, I never got a chance to play anything with the sound hole. I really like it. Like it really, it really gives me more like honest feedback. Okay. 
I am very impressed. So I was talking to a guy and he picked up a piece and he, and he just got super annoyed. Everyone was like way too busy to come over to your booth, but I'm super excited. I'm going to come, as soon as it slows down, I'm going to come over and talk to you guys. Awesome connections. I was talking to like this one arch top guy for a long time, just geeking out about arch tops. And he's just like, oh my goodness, you have Engelman spruce. So I probably, in that time I was gone, I probably hit up uh, four people. Four nice. people I saw. Nice. But all of them were super positive. All of them were like, have had great experiences of getting instrument wood. From my current suppliers, it seems like stock is getting worse rather than better. And pumped to find out about something else. loading this into the car, Mike. My feeling strong. We'll find out. This is like a recipe for pulling yeah. your back out though. You like stand around all day for two days. Stand around for two days at the show. Don't get any exercise. One of these boxes weighs probably 50, 60 pounds. That's it. We're loaded. So overall, everyone thought our wood was amazing. They had no idea who we were, but they were pretty excited that we had Engelman spruce. We didn't get a lot of purchases at the show, but that doesn't bother us too much because we know that you guys are all just going to order online anyway. So we're on our way to get ourselves a new computer. Our old computer was terrible and it was really holding us back. Mike's showing visually how inefficient it was. Oh. So if you're interested in having a look at some of our products because you missed the show or you didn't get a chance to check out our table, there's a link down below that'll take you to our website and you can explore all of our wood products we supply for all stringed instruments. Yeah, so what we're really interested in, uh, how rugged is these? Because, you know, we work on a sawmill and I don't know, like what if you got, say, a random food item like a, a pickle that got shoved into the USB port? 